Hey everyone, <clears throat> I am going to do a cooking video real quick. Uh, I haven't done a video in a long time. Hold on a second, I'm sorry. Let me uh, turn down the, uh, the computer volume so it really doesn't interfere with our cooking. Okay, so here we go. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cook some uh, ramen noodles with some with some sauteed chicken, and I'm going to add some uh, uh, wedgies and uh, and whatnot, as you can see. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, I have the uh, I have the chicken, uh, you know, in pieces. It's all breast, a little bit of bones. So uh, first thing we're gonna uh, turn on the heat on this. Oh come on! See this elbow does that for some freaking reason. Come on. Okay, so here we go. So medium heat, and uh, into this I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, as you can see. That's good enough. And then uh, I'm just going to let it, uh, you know, get it, uh, let it uh, uh, have this color, you know, like sort of like a golden brown color. Um, and then in the meanwhile, um, in a minute or two, I'm going to add uh, salt and pepper, a little bit of turmeric. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of garlic and uh, uh, onions to our chicken, right? Meanwhile, I have in this pot here, I have the ramen noodles, as you can see. These are instant ones. I'm sorry, I couldn't find the uh, the uh, the better ones. So, but I what I did was I I washed them remove the uh, you know how it comes with the uh, you know beef flavor or chicken flavor I had the beef flavor so I basically I washed them and I removed all that so I'm gonna have my own so into this what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add two thirds of uh, chicken broth which is be, which would be like a, uh, maybe like a cup and a half as you can see. There you go. And then into this, I'm also going to add hot water. Right? So at least a cup of hot water. As you can see. Uh, salt. I have sea salt, as you can see. Salt is the desire. And uh, I'm going to turn on the heat. All right. On medium heat into this. And then uh, into our noodles since so they're going to be uh, cooked in like uh, three to four minutes into this I'm going to add some uh, you know sliced uh, uh, sliced carrots uh, chickpeas a little bit of uh, garlic and uh, ginger so I'm going to add all this in here as you can see and then get a spatula. And then just basically, you can break down the, uh, the noodles, as you can see. They easily break down after they heat up. So there you go. So in three minutes, or maybe four minutes, uh, basically this is all going to be ready 
so I just put the lid on. Make sure if you mix up all this. Right, looking good. And then, yeah, put the lid on. And this one. Right. Our chicken is looking good too. So I just let it start. And uh, what I'm going to do is that in a little while, I'm going to, maybe in a minute or two, I'm going to add garlic and uh, onions to our chicken as well as uh, a little bit of um, salt and pepper, as you can see, and a little bit of uh, turmeric. Now these veggies here are uh, spinach, green onions, uh, Brussels sprouts and a little bit of chopped cilantro and these go actually uh, when the noodles are cooked right so uh, when they're cooked they will go towards the end I'm going to uh, the heat a little bit on on the noodles so they are uh, cooked properly including the uh, including the, uh, <clears throat> you know, the veggies I uh, threw in there. All right, let's see what our chicken looks like. As you can see, nice uh, brown color. So we're gonna flip these. So it gets an even, just be careful, looks like chicken was washed. That's why it had a little bit of water in it. I'm going to turn on the fan on the low. Let me see if I can find a lid because this uh, fan that I bought uh, didn't come with a lid. So maybe I can use a lid from uh, another pot. And there you go. And just lower the heat because the heat may be also causing the smoke and all that. So there you go. So uh, in, in like 30 seconds, I'm gonna add a garlic, onions, and uh, salt and pepper to our uh, chicken. So I'll be right back. All right, everyone. So it's time to add the garlic and onions to our chicken. As you can see, there you go. And on top of this, uh, we're going to add just mix it a little bit. Smells really good. Add a little bit of uh, salt. Since there is salt also in the uh, in the ramen. So I'm now going to add a lot of salt, just a little bit, to uh, give the chicken a taste, and then uh, black pepper, give me a second. So black pepper, I'm going to just uh, uh, use our black pepper grinder. There you go. And just a little bit of turmeric. Just a little bit, right? And that's it. Looks really good. Just mix it. That's because the chicken should be ready in like two minutes. You know, it doesn't take a lot for chicken to uh, cook. And uh, ramen noodles should be ready within that time too. And then we're gonna we're gonna uh, mix everything. I mean, combine everything. And then into that we're gonna add, uh, you know, with our ingredients for the uh, for the time when it's cooked. In addition, I'm going to add uh, a little bit of uh, uh, lime juice. You know, I have a lime, so I'm gonna cut this into like a one quarter of a piece and there you go so I'm going to use this at the end when we add these veggies to our noodles plus chicken 
All right, so give me uh, one more minute and then uh, it's all ready to go. All right. All right, everyone. So at this point in time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add our chicken to noodles. So it uh, the noodles absorb all the uh, flavor of the chicken, as you can see. So this goes in here. There you go. Turn the heat off on the other one. And then just mix up the uh, noodles, the chicken and all the other veggies. It's, it's boiling, so that's a good thing. It should be ready in like one or two minutes. Uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of broth, a little bit of more broth. Looks like we need, uh, you know, we want it to be a little more uh, a liquid you know uh, because this is a soup so just add maybe half a cup of more broth and that's it and uh, mix it again as you can see it's really looking good right okay so in a minute or two this is all ready to be served all right, put the lid back on, and uh, that's it. So basically, the last uh, piece of the puzzle is to uh, add our, uh, you know, our uh, vegetables in a minute and a half, which I'm going to do that. So I'll see you in a minute and a half. All right, everyone, so it's time to uh, add our last minute uh, vegetables. Not last minute, but the last piece of puzzle, as I said. Uh, so you can basically add these, which is our spinach, green onions, uh, bean sprouts, and uh, spinach. I'm sorry, spinach and uh, freshly chopped cilantro portion. Make sure you don't burn your hands. Careful. And then what I'm going to do is to basically turn off the heat. As you can see. And then just mix this. Mix all this. As you can see, this really looks good. Uh, so you can basically serve this. Give me one second for serving. I'm gonna have a bowl or whatever it is I have to uh, prepare. All right, just give me 20 seconds. All right, as you can see, this really looks amazing with the uh, green veggies and uh, uh, spinach, um, cilantro, carrots, and uh, green peas so uh, I'm gonna serve this it's gonna be a little difficult to serve so let's see I'm gonna move this to this side so I have this bowl I'm gonna to try to serve this using my tongs first the noodles as you can see they look really good Make sure to include some wedges and all that. Right. As I told you, it's, it's going to be a little difficult to serve. It's going to be a little mess, which is fine. Add a little bit of like wedges. Add a little bit of chicken. As you can see. A little bit more wedges, carrots, carrots, some chickpeas and uh, green onions. As you can see, a little bit more chicken. As you can see, now into this you can just. Uh, or broth 
are juice, so just give me one sec. One sec. Sorry. Oh, sorry, I, uh, I forgot to add one more thing, which is the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, not the, uh, <clears throat> lemon, but, uh, lime. So, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of lime to this. Just give it that nice flavor. A little bit here, too. And that's it. So, just give me one sec, and then I'm gonna pour a little bit of juice. The, uh, the pot is hot, so I have to use the uh, towel on both sides. All right, so uh, basically this is it. Uh, I poured the juice and it looks looks really good. You know, uh, ramen with uh, the chicken, like sauteed chicken, wedgies uh, and uh, spinach, bean sprouts, and um, you know, chopped cilantro and uh, fresh uh, green onions. So uh, you can try it at home uh, in your own way with your own ingredients and uh, enjoy cooking.